Hello, this is the news minute coming to you live from Chennai. I'm in front of the Kilpak Medical College Hospital. Uh, in, in front of the Kilpak Medical College here on the Poonamalli High Road uh, in Chennai. And I'll just show you the crowds uh, that are here today. Uh, since Monday, there have been crowds here, long queues of people waiting to buy uh, uh, medicine to treat COVID-19. Now, there are two counters here and there are hundreds of people right here who've been waiting since uh, 3 a.m. in the morning to buy this drug called Remdesivir. Now, uh, we all know that we've, we've all been hearing about Remdesivir uh, ever since the second surge uh, of the COVID-19, so ever since cases have spiked uh, across India. Now, Remdesivir is an antiviral drug. Uh, which is used to treat, which is prescribed by doctors to treat patients uh, affected by the COVID-19. I'll tell you the situation here. Uh, across India, there's been a huge uh, dearth, a huge paucity of this drug. In Chennai, this is the situation. No pharmacy, no private hospital, uh, no medical shops outside of the government, uh, Kilpog Medical College, is supplying this drug. People here have been coming in from other districts and from across Chennai to buy this drug. Uh, people, uh, uh, there's a huge um, black market also because of the amount of uh, shortage of this drug. There's a huge unregulated market which has been selling this drug for almost 20,000 rupees a while uh, when it's being sold for 9,000 rupees here at the KMC. Uh, I'll speak to one person. Uh, I've been here for the last one hour. Uh, I've been meeting people and there's this one. There are many people who come from other districts uh, because they've been saying that there's no absolutely no way to find this drug outside of uh, Chennai in, uh, in the private sector. Even government hospitals in other districts are not selling this. So they've come all the way to Chennai to buy this. I have with me Mr. Shivaraman who's come all the way from Salem. Uh, he's been here for the last two days. He's been waiting to get this drug. I'll just speak to him now. Sir, you can tell me how long you have been waiting for Madam, I am Salam. 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 Government hospital la, yang hospital la, ni mana? Last tahun hospital la, nangga bandi set terindo, angga bandi agisin kerja kerja ni nangga set terindo, angga bandi pati na rem deceiver angga ram marindu bandi wine door solra angga, angga muntah stock la angga angga, beli la, la medical shop la ni terindo, kerja kerja ni mana? Angga bandi government selang government jek acil la, ni bandi supply tarat la ni mana? Beli ya? Ingat Chennai la tarat aku keli pertama ada, ada nala munda netu anda ini ke anda wang raku deh, sulal la pakaman nintik ramai. Ingat tanggi terkini, mana pan? Naa ingat anda pati na, orang nan nan ber wait la anda tanggi rikam ada. Ana niing sone niing train la anda ingat ana wait pada anda nala wait pan terkini. Ma, ma, anda deh train la anda ada, ya na anda day time la anda pati na night patu mani ada anda lockdown ada deh liya. Bus 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 lete ana kira ya deh. Naa night anda pati na train book pan itu. Early morning, when the three o'clock, when the central, when the te, four o'clock, when the when the medical college, Kilpak Medical College, it's under the camera. I've been hearing a lot of people say that they've been waiting for the last two days in order to get a token to step inside the hospital and buy this medicine. Now, a very bizarre thing that's happening right now is that so many experts and so many doctors have said that this drug does not do much to treat COVID-19 patients. In fact, it's not a life-saving drug. Uh, uh, at the maximum, what it does is that it reduces a patient's uh, stay in a hospital by up to three days. And that too, it only works on non-critical COVID patients uh, who needs oxygen support. So this is, a, this is the situation. Even the Tamil Nadu Health Secretary, Dr. J. Radhakrishnan, has said, has, uh, he's asked people to not panic, to not scramble for this medicine, because it's not, it's not a life-saving drug. It does not do much to treat patients. But across private hospitals in Chennai and other districts, uh, doctors have been asking people, the bystanders of patients, to go source the drug themselves. They've been saying that they don't have the drug and patients, it's up to the patients to go and buy this drug from wherever they get it. So that explains the kind of crowd that we're seeing. I'll just show you the crowd now. There are two counters here at the KMC. Uh, one counter was open yesterday. 
and you can see the kind of crowd. This is just the crowd inside the hospital, inside the medical college, by the way. Uh, there's a huge line outside on the Barnaby Road. Uh, the entire stretch of the road is filled with people who have not yet got tokens, who are waiting uh, to buy, to get tokens so that they can enter this hospital, uh, enter this medical college and buy the drug. So that is what is happening. It's an absolute, uh, it's, it's chaos right here. I, I was speaking to one lady from Ananaga uh, whose brother is a COVID-19 patient admitted to a private hospital. Uh, the doctors there had asked her to go and source the hospital and they said that the KMC is the only place where she'll be getting the drug. She's been waiting here since uh, 2 a.m. in the morning. Yesterday she came, she got a token, she lost it in the crowd and uh, she decided to wait it out. She got one more token and she's been waiting here since 2 a.m. and she said that there's no way to use the loo. There are no facilities here. Uh, inside the college, inside the hospital, which is opposite uh, the medical college, uh, the staff is asking, I mean, the security guards are asking for uh, a person's aadhar in order to let them, they're confirming if they're patients in order to let them access the bathrooms. Here, of course, there are hundreds of people waiting. Uh, she's, she's been saying that she doesn't, she's not eaten. She's not eaten, just a second, she's not eaten uh, for the last so many hours and that she finally found some stall here that's selling food and then she ate. So that's the condition. People don't have basic uh, facilities here in order to be able to wait for long hours to get this drug. And the most bizarre thing is that doctors have been saying that this drug is not very effective. Uh, I'm just going back to Mr. Shivaraman uh, because he wants to add something more. Madam, Patina, India, Valars, Agan, Kanakana, Tavaling, Madam. First to Makalakan and Alars in the Podo. Patina, Agis and Vande and the hospital is area Kataka the Lamada. In the Virkaku Marandan Solang Remdes, you are in Adin Kataka the Lamada. Either Makalaki Saria Kondu by Sata Podo. Well delay Patina, Mundra, the Adia Padia, the defense excel of Pantra, Adi Tavala, Madam, Pakistan, Padia, the fight for the Langa Makal, and the Agis and Lame, Remdes, you are in Lame, Setitrika, Madam. First, we have a passport. 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 We so right now it's a very uh, bizarre situation here in Chennai because in the open market there's no availability of this drug. Uh, but the government hospitals are well stocked, they have adequate uh, sto uh, stock of this uh, medicine, there's no shortage, so people are rushing to government hospitals. But people here have been telling me that none of the other government hospitals apart from KNC, KMC is supplying this. Uh, and a few people that I've spoken to, uh, they've told me that they've tried to source this from the black market and the prices are insane. So the drug comes in, uh, it's an injection and it comes in six vials and each vial has cost them about 20,000 rupees. That's the sort of price that we're seeing in the unregulated market. So there's clear, there's a clear di uh, di uh, disparity and nobody seems to know where the supply chain jam is happening because a lot of the manufacturers are directly working with the government in order to streamline the process and ensure that uh, the drug is not rerouted to the black market. But we have to see, now the government has promised to set up more counters. One more counter has been set up here. So we have to wait and watch what is going to happen. Uh, so this is uh, what we're bringing to you from the KMC in Chennai. We'll be coming up with more field reports. So stay tuned to the News Minute. We're regularly, regularly updating stories on the website. And we'll be, uh, we'll be putting out Facebook Lives. Uh, this is Sridhavi Jairajan reporting from Chennai. Thank you.